Hi guys, and welcome to this Model Engineers Workshop. What's going on in the workshop today? Come on, let's take a look. Hi guys, so this is what's happening in the workshop today. We're making the plug that goes in the rear of the axle pump. Does that make it an axle pump butt plug? Hi guys, I'm the chef. So today we're making the plug for the back end of the pump. There's the bits for the pump which are still got to be silver soldered together. We need this 19 mil hex. There are quite a few turning operations. Going to end up using about uh, 25 mil of this, this stock. And uh, yep, not much more else to say about that. I'll get this into the uh, chuck on the lathe and I'll bring you back. Right guys, so we're set up in the lathe now. Got the 19 mil hex brass ready to go to make the end plug for the axle pump. So what we've got to do is we've got to turn down 16 mil to 16 and a half mil and then first four mil of that we turn down to 12.6 mil. We're then going to put a couple of chamfers on and then we're going to thread the fatter part, the back at the, the bit at the back end, uh, 3 8 BSP, which I've already got in the tail stock die, tail stock die holder. Uh, we're then going to put in a thread relief and we're going to part the whole thing off at 25 mil. So let me just check my dimensions. 16 mil is six full turns and 38 on the compound. I'm just going to get my zero set on the compound, six and 38, and then we can uh, get that down to 16.5 and start through uh, then it's ready for the thread itself. All right, so I'm going to clear this work, work and then we're going to get close, touch off, and uh, get going. All right, guys, here we go. <laughs> According to the dials, that should be 16 millimeters. Quick thumb nut check before we go too much further. And we are spot on the money. Okay. Right, guys, let's get this done. So we're less than 19 because we've gone below the level of the flats. We need to get to 16.5, 16.4, somewhere around there. And we are at uh, 15, 16, about 17.5. Yep, let's uh, take another 0.8 off and then we'll remeasure. I guess very close. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so 
There we go. There we are. Nice fit. We're at 16.56. Yep. It's gonna, just going to take a tiny bit more off just to make life a little bit easier. I know tapping 3.8 BSP is a big coarse thread, but let's make life a little bit easier on ourselves, shall we? Here we go. <laughs> You'll notice also I just took the very last bit of that cut to the final depth and then I pulled out just to give me a nice square corner and uh, went back in just to make sure it was cleaned off and then withdrew the tool and we get a reasonable finish. We are at 16.253345445, we're about 16 and a half. Yeah, that should that should see us. So we're now going to take the next four mil down to twelve point seven. That's one full turn on the on the dial. And what did I say there? One uh, four mil is one and seventy three divisions this time. So let's do this one. I'll just check the zero again. We have contact. So there we go, just reset the zeros just to make sure we're good. Yep. And we can. I think we were at that, weren't we? There we go. Yep. Right, here we go. Four millimeters at tw to 12.7. <laughs> See how we're doing. 12.6, 12.7 will have the target values. It's only just to stop bung up the end of the pump. So anywhere around there will be close. We're at 14.3. So we've got about a mil and a half to come off. So we can go 3.7, yeah, about 1.6. So let's take this two more cuts and then we'll check again. That should be it, I think, unless I've messed up, which is always possible. Let's have a look. We are at 12.567, literally. Right, so I didn't mess that up. So let's just take off uh, take off another 0.2 of a millimeter just to make it an easy fit because you don't want to be having it binding in there because you might need to remove it at some time to clean out the pump. <laughs> Again, went down to the final depth, taking off the very last couple of thousandths on the final cut and pulling out so we get a nice square shoulder. And we are at 12.5. 12 12.5, that will do nicely. Right. Get that off there. Quick tool change. You might notice I've recently bought an insert for a, an, an insert and a holder for a square insert. So that means I can actually now machine chamfers onto things. So we're going to chamfer here and here, and then we're ready for um, threading. Here we go. 
There we go. That will do it nicely, guys. Take that off so I don't stab myself. Wouldn't be the first time. This experience is a wonderful thing. Right, now, this is a big old thread. So hopefully we'll be able to... I know you can't see much on this camera, but on that one you might be able to see something. You've seen me do this before anyway. So chuck this way, uh, tail stock handle that way to push the push this into it till it starts to bite anyway and uh, then we can release things a bit so it pulls itself along here we go and we'll have to move this in because it's going to be a, a tough one is this i think it's not as if i'll be able to hold it All right. yep there we go okay here goes, guys. Oh, that is tough too. Oop, drop it, drop the lathe into neutral that way. I'm not turning the motor as well. Oh, geez. Well, we're starting to cut by the look of things. Could be. Definitely doing something. Oh dear, oh dear. All right, so I'm gonna use the chuck key to get a bit more purchase on it, I think. I can see chips. I don't know. If, don't think you guys will be able to. So, hopefully, we are cutting. Yeah, I think we must be. Right, back the tail stock. Loosen the tail stock off, so it can just slide as it needs to. Shocking noise. Uh, we're almost there. That's it. That's as far as that wants to go. So let's push it back and get this off and have a look at what kind of thread we've got. <sighs> Gonna be a tough one to back off as well there. Oh, Bennett. Gordon Bennett. Here we go. Right, we have to go. Just knock the microphone off. Guys. Sorry about that. Oh, yo. There we go. Oops, sorry guys, just banged the camera. We're moving. We're definitely moving.
Yep, there we go. Let's pull that clear now. There we are. Oh, bloody earth. That's a nice looking thread on there. Right, so. Uh, we'll get a parting, uh, sorry. The uh, thread relief in the back. Use the wide parting tool for that one to make a nice, decent thread relief. So we'll just contact there. There we go. Ha! One of my usual tricks, not in gear. There we go. So let's uh, get the thread relief in. Here goes. <laughs> There we go. Now, of course, once this is parted off, I'll need to reverse it in the chuck to clean up the other end. And I'll be holding it, as I've done before, with a split bush, which I've already made. So there you go. This is a 3 8 VSP split bush. You can see I've got the split in it. So that should, hopefully, screw on, he says, with a smile. No, no it doesn't really. Oh, it wants to cross thread. Why is that, I wonder? Come on. Leave that with me, guys. Yep, that's going to cross thread, isn't it? I'll have to maybe clean this out. All right, I'm going to clean this out, try again, and uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, guys, back in a tick. Right, guys, so now it's time to part off. I've got the parting tool in the chuck, uh, in, the, in the tool post, and uh, I've set, centered off, oh, got the dial set on zero on the end of the bolt, onto 25, plus a little bit, just a couple of, thousandths just so I can clean up when I get it turned around. Right, so let's get this parted off and that's uh, another pe piece uh, almost done. Okay, here goes. go that's the bolt just going to get this into that split bushing now turn that off straighten this edge up give it a quick clean of that actually really quite nice and then just put a chamfer on using the part not using the turning tools just to uh, tidy up this edge will just need a little bit of a file there's a few sharp burrs on there you can probably see and um, then that's that done that's the end plug for the uh, axle pump all right guys i'll bring it back when i'm back in the lathe Right guys, so in between the last clip and now, I've just made myself a 3 8 BSP split bushing. We know how to make those. We made one not long back, a couple of videos. Uh, got the plug in, jaws tightened down on that, so this is all nice and solid. There is a little bit of a gap there at the back. So what we, what's the plan of action? We're just going to take this tit off here, make sure that face is nice and clean. And then I'm going to set the tool post around a little bit and just take a bit of an edge off. The bottom edge doesn't need to worry about because that's going to be with it almost uh, in contact with the pump body anyway. So let's get this done and then that is this piece finished. <laughs>
that's clean enough. That's just straighten that face up. Now we'll just, uh, or is it better to change tool? Uh, let's change tool altogether and then we'll move the tool post around as well. So I'm just going to, not the tool post, what am I at? Yeah. Yeah, we can just push that round. No, no, I'll go back to my original plan. I'm going to go and use the tool I started with. And that tool post back down. Let's put this one back in. Right, now, just loosen that off slightly. There we go. I'm going to turn that round so this is about a 30, this edge here is about a 30 degree angle. Something like that. It doesn't have to be exact. It's just going to round those corners off. Make the nut look presentable, if nothing else. There we go. All right, let's just have a bit of a think, a bit of a dummy run. Run that back in now. There we go. And we can just, all we need to do is just make it look like the top of an ordinary, yeah, that'll do it. Ordinary nut that you'd buy in the shop. Uh, and we're going to be clear. Oh, yeah, plenty of room on the chuck. Right, let's get this bit done. And we'll finish off. Let's just have a little look at that. Oh, that'll do it. Let's just smooth that off nicely. As I say, the bottom edge doesn't need any work doing to it. It just needs a little bit of work with a file or some scotch Bright or emery paper just to take off a few bursts. Right, let's get this tool out of the way. Let's find number one on here. Here we go, there's the dots. So that means that is number one. We'll just start loosening that off. You saw how the split bushing held it all together. There we go. Right, let's have a little look at that, shall we? Oh, look at that. That's nice. Yes, that'll do it. It's deep in the belly of the locomotive, and uh, this just screws in the end to seal off the end as the pump ram comes in this way. And it's, I suppose, in a way, it means you can actually just get every now and then get in there and clean the pump out as well. Right, guys, give us a second, and we'll get this video to a close. All right, back in a tip, guys. Right, up, guys. So that's this video coming to a close. There we go. That's the nut that goes in the tail end of the pump when it's done. So, uh, yep, all these small bits are going to come together now to make a big bit, the axle pump itself. I'll put a video together shortly of all those bits coming together and uh, we'll get it mounted into the loco frames and we can see what it looks like. So, yep, I'll do like I normally do. If you can find it in heart and soul, Give me a like as I'm subscribed and hit that bell for the notifications. Please, guys, if you're one of the watchers, because I know you're out there, I'm getting lots of hits, but not many subscribers. If you're one of the watchers, please, please, please take it into consideration. Give me a subscribe. It does me good. And you'll be getting the notifications and helping along with the build of this locomotive. All right, guys, that's it for today. This is The Chef signing out saying see you later.